Shoreline Maintenance. We're a family-owned business with over 20 years of experience. Our goal is to customize each dock to the customer's needs at the best price on the lake. We service Blunt County, Knox County, Loudoun, and Monroe. Driving piles, turnkey docks, boat and jet ski lifts, riprap, walkways and stairs, electricity, resurfacing docks, total reconstruction. Our docks are constructed in the highest quality in pre-treated materials from the piles to the lifts on turnkey dock. Call my daddy or papa today. Call Shoreline Maintenance today, 865-206-7907, 865-206-7907. Oh, if you guys like to travel, then hop in your car and head on over to Greenback, Tennessee and go travel back in time. The Greenback Diner has been around for almost a 100 years with the best sweet tea around. Don't forget the grilled honey bun topped with ice cream and chocolate syrup. They have some friendly service and a family atmosphere. Thursday suppers are from 5 till 8. Breakfast is served from 7.30 until 10.30. Lunch is 10.30 until 2. And on Saturdays, you can stuff yourself on all-you-can-eat breakfast bar from 7.30 until 11. They have the best burgers and best fillies in town. Call them now. Make sure they're there for you no matter where you're coming from. 865-856-2614. That's 865-856-2614. Or find the Greenback Diner on Facebook. We've been catering to it and figuring it out since 1972. So join us at obnoxiousbehavior.com. The merchandise from all of the talent on our shows and the guests on our shows and all of the stuff from our sponsors, from Spoons and Shakers, the Americana Sunday Cafe, as well right here on Taz the Podcast. We've been catering to it and figuring it out since 1972. All you have to do is click obnoxiousbehavior.com and fill your obnoxious behaviors. You're down with the OXB. You heard? Heard what? Comedy Couple Tees will print anything on a shirt. Anything? Anything. What if I can't think of something funny to put on a shirt? That's okay. They have lots of funny shirts on their website to choose from, or you can create your own custom shirt. You can also get a custom mask, phone case, mouse pad, and so much more. I bet it's expensive, though, right? No way. You can get a full-color picture printed on a white shirt for only $20. 20 bucks? Yep, they have great prices. Where can I find them? ComedyCoupleTees.com. That's ComedyCoupleTees.com. Comedy Couple Tees. We print anything on a shirt. Hi, I'm Jennifer Jones, creator of Twisty Knot, the little fashion accessory that easily creates the perfect knot in your t-shirts. Check out my podcast episode with Taz from season one to hear my story about how I invented and patented my product. And please visit twistyknot.com to see easy tutorials of all the ways that you can use Twisty Knot. That's twist dash t double e knot.com. Use code podcast and get 10% off your order. When you go on vacation, you only have so much time. There are so many choices to make. You know you want real, authentic experiences. In Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains, get off the beaten path and see the mountains from where only boats can go. Get out on the river with SMO Rafting. SMO is Smoky Mountain Outdoors. We raft on the most popular river in the United States, the Pigeon River, near Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. With Class 3 and 4 rapids, the Pigeon offers whitewater thrills or a scenic calm water float on the lower section. Rafting season is March through October with guaranteed water levels during the summer. Get up close and personal with the Great Smoky Mountains. Go with SMO, the most trusted outfitter on America's number one river. Call us at 800-771-7238 or visit obnoxiousbehavior.com to download your free rafting guide. 865 Studio Shirts, Small Batch, Screen Printing. You see it online all the time. People want a t-shirt quickly and fast and cheap. Well, if you've ever wanted to experience and appreciate the quality of a really good shirt... 
then you want to take the Screen Printing Workshop. It is located in Maryville, Tennessee. You know, it's in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. Join us for this fun class as we learn about screen printing. This is a tactical, hands-on experience where you will learn the entire process of how the design is created, how a screen is made, and how the design gets inked and cured onto your shirt. Feel free to bring up to five additional items per person to print. Adult beverages and snacks are definitely allowed. It's only $50 per person. It's a two-hour class and includes one T-shirt, one canvas tote, and poster supplies per person. Maximum four people per class. To book this, you go to Airbnb.com, search Knoxville Experiences, find screen printing at Artist Studio, and book your class. You can visit 865studioshirts.com to view some awesome swag available for purchase online. If you would like to talk to Stacy Patty about this awesome experience, call 865-724-5439, 865studioshirts.com. on August 10th, 2021, and it's our second live show from the big stage in Maryville, Tennessee. Hello to all of our live guests and those in our studio. I am the conscience of Taz the Podcast, Fern Taylor. Tonight on Taz the Podcast, we invite a small business listener to participate in our show. Small business owners, get those dialing fingers ready. Live from Tampa, Florida, Southbound 75 stops by to talk about their tour. Maybe, just finally, we'll find out, is Greg an egg? We already know Kevin wears Depends. Our Smoky Mountain Showcase is that of a talented artist who has been giving to our passion charity the last few years, Willie Franklin. Willie Franklin, not Nelson. Roll that intro, Trippy. It's showtime on WOSP Cash the Podcast. Podcast, a weekly feature of those that entertain, make us laugh, and make us feel for a better life. Live from the studio on the bougie bus, somewhere on the side of the road in America. He is the Fruit Loop in a bowl of Cheerios. He's the guy that makes life happen. Taz Cable is Taz the Podcast. was able to go back outside. If if you didn't hear what I just said right now because I muted the microphone, it was hot today, y'all. But listen, if you're not down here at 2146 Big Springs Road, and if you're not participating in our live show, you're missing out on that wonderful opportunity. We had a great crowd last night. We have a smaller crowd tonight, but it doesn't matter because we're going to continue to do what we're doing. The only reason that I do Taz the podcast and I'm not tucked away in a closet somewhere doing this podcast are guys South. 75 is on with us already and uh guys the last time we were tucked in somebody's house we didn't even know if you remember <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, if we uh, if we wanted to, uh, we could definitely do this podcast from anywhere. But we do this podcast so that we could raise money for the Lost Vets, and it's only five dollars. The Lost Vets Rescue, and 
Um, I don't want to bring you guys in yet, um, Mark, but you know, we've talked about the lost vets and, and you guys have done some similar work with some people there in Florida. And you know, if I can come home and feel the way I do and be excited about the music and the things going on in this area, then, and, and the venues that are supplying this, then it's the least that I can do to raise a little money for some people that did what they do so that I can do what I do. You know what I mean? It's only $5 for you guys to participate in that. But you know, what I want to do is, is, uh, you know, what I'm doing also with Taz, the podcast, is actually supporting small businesses and showcasing small businesses and those people that, um, you know, it is the backbone. It's it's the backbone of everything that I do. It's the backbone of, um, of everything that I've done. And, uh, you know, uh, Mark, you can't be, uh, you know, the genius, the creative genius in proclaiming you know, if you don't continue to support where it came from, you know what I mean? It's kind of like you guys. It's music. This is my music. And, um, you know, you can't, um, you, you can't, you can't talk it if you don't walk it. And I'm just trying to walk it. And, uh, I, I'm going to give an opportunity to, uh, just, you know, one of our listeners that is, it's actually one of our listeners that, um, you know, if you're sitting at home and, and, uh, you're listening or if you're at work and you're listening and you, you have a small business, I want to feature you because one of the things that I do with Taz the podcast and this broadcast here in Maryville, Tennessee is actually so that our small businesses could be showcased and, and actually benefit from what we're doing. Small music. I don't mean small music, Mark, you know, you know, small business, small music, you know, it, we're all in it. We're all, we're all in it to make, to make a buck. And, and, uh, there, and, you know, and the reason I'm standing in this gym is because I said no to the corporation. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm a small business just like you are. So if you are a small business and you, um, are out there, I'm going to take the first caller. I'm going to just showcase your, uh, your business here. If you'll just call the live line, I would definitely really appreciate to to be able to um, showcase your business and tell people exactly what you do. And if we don't have anybody that calls because they're chicken, it's it's quite a white. But we're going to take just a little break. We're going to take this call. Customers needs at the best price on the lake. We service Blunt County, Knox County, Loudon, and Monroe. Driving piles, turnkey docks, boat and jet ski lifts, riprap, walkways and stairs, electricity, resurfacing docks, total reconstruction. Our docks are constructed in the highest quality in pre-treated materials from the piles to the lifts on turnkey dock. Call my daddy or papa. Today. Call Shoreline Maintenance today, 865-206-7907, 865-206-7907. Hey, caller, caller number one, how are you? What's your name? I'm good. I'm Emily Welshin. What's up, Emily Welshin? Are you a small business owner or do you work for yourself? What do you do? Um. Well, yeah, actually, I'm at school at Tennessee School of Beauty for cosmetology. So I was just calling to say that I will be a small business owner Um with the hair salon. Oh, no way. Listen, I was about to say, wait a minute. So, d- listen, do students actually know what they're doing? Of course we do. <laughs> think- I'm not supposed to say anything different. But, wait, so that means you know different? Like, have you have you put blisters on somebody's head? I have not done that. Oh, well, that's that's perfect. So, t- tell people, what services can they, you you said you were at a school, so, can and people can come see you, I think, at a you know, it's it's a little bit less before you get out there and you got rent to pay and stuff, right? So, right, yeah. Um, I'm out on the floor Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So those are the days that I take appointments. Um, anywhere from balayages, highlights, you know, color, anything like that. Um, Wait, I'm, you're you're I'm, like speaking like, like there's languages that you're, like don't you just do hair, skin? What's a bari? What the heck? A balayage? That sounds like you got something Ajax won't wash off. Oh no. Balayage is actually in. It's a, it's a color technique that a lot of, um, a lot of women are getting nowadays. So that's, that's really popular. Well, I was about to get really upset because I was like, wait a minute. I shaved my head and all I had to do was balayage it. <laughs> if you didn't shave it, we could do it. Tell the people how they can get in touch with you. Student Emily, what's your last name again? I'm sorry. Welshin. Oh, Welshin. Thank you. What's your phone number and how can people get in touch with you? Um, you can call or text 865-806-5754 or find me on Facebook at Slay Hair with Emily. 
I think you rehearsed that a little bit. Thanks, Emily, for calling us very much, and thank you for listening to Taz the Podcast. Thank you. Taz the Podcast. It might actually be my favorite part of my whole week. It's Southbound 75. What's up, guys? How are you? Oh, are, wait. What's are, going on? No, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. The internet must be slow in Tampa. It took it a while to get down there. Oh, yeah. Well, it's storming. Oh, it yeah. storm. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I think I heard somebody else was storming earlier. Southbound 75, guys. Where are you guys? You guys have... Uh, now, when I met you guys, you guys were just about to get back out on the road. You were about to do uh, your thing out and about. Yeah. Um, and now you're out. Yeah. You, I think you were doing just your first festival at the time that we we um, we um we met. So what's been going on since we last met? Tell me all about it. All right. Well, first... Uh, the big thing is that uh, Anthony August has joined the band. So, Taz, say hi to Anthony. Um, I was like, wait a minute. Did somebody have a sex change or something? Because he looks different than the rest of them. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. No operations happened. So, okay. so. <laughs> no, I get it. He just looks like so different. What happened? Who did we lose? What did we gain here? Yeah. So, uh, so Mario, our, our, our guitar player who you met, um, he, he is actually, um, Mark Anthony's touring and, and actual guitar player. So Mark has a tour from August through Christmas. So feel free to go see Mark wherever he's going. But wait, Mark um, so Anthony, he, like Mark Anthony, Mark, An- like Mark Anthony, but, he, but wait, how does he, he say- work with his team Anthony? <laughs> oh, this, this, the, 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 the same guy, like, <laughs> Like he's he's touring with Mark. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. He, he's, wow. he's I knew you all were. For like twenty years. Oh, that's hilarious! I, I, where did I miss that yeah. in the bio? I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, we probably told you, but you know. I was too worried about getting buttons. Now I'm live. Can you believe it? I'm live. I have a studio audience. I have people. uh, Let's let's see how many people. Hold on. Last time we had about 3,500 people. Um, Let's see. Oh, dude, y'all might be breaking a record. Oh, it's only a two day record though. We have, uh, we got some big artists. uh, I'm just kidding. We have big artists with us right now at South Mountain 75. (laughs) <laughs> Where, um, so, um, so it's, so you lost, uh, so, so really you're, I, okay. So where are you guys going? Like where, where are you guys going? You guys are traveling really nationwide, full blown nationwide. Um, and so actually, it's the thing that we're doing, um, because we got our records coming out, um, on Bad Juju, which is a Sony label. It's going to be out in October. So now we're doing, we're starting to press for all of that. And so we've been nonstop. And so we do have shows coming up. We're going to be up in Nashville in October. We're in, we're coming up in, in two weeks or three weeks. We'll be up in Georgia. So I honestly don't know where we're all going. <laughs> so, but just check the website southbound75.com. It has all our dates and there's more dates every day. So. We're really excited. We're, I mean, we're, we're crazy well, busy. I, I just want you guys to know I'm going to be working on this internet connection. So please don't tell your other artists there with Sony that, uh, you know, that, that, that we have these connection issues because I am going to try to get some of these people on the show. But, but can we yeah. talk about, um, you know, it's kind of appropriate that I wanted you guys on and I didn't want to tell you why, but the song Long Way Home. Um, yeah. you know, I've been gone for seven years. Um, not, not forever. It's not like some prodigal son just came home and fixed everything, but you know, I've been, right. I've been, you know, I've been gone for a while and I just came home and this song means more to me now. Um, after when I met you guys, I said, no, you know, no chance of going home. I'm going to live on the road. I'm going to travel. I'm going to do this podcast, right. but I came home. So yeah. I want to talk about long way home and will you guys, let's talk about that and how it came about. Yeah. So, Long Way Home um, it came about because my roommate in college, um, his name was Brad, and we went to school in Fort Lauderdale, and um, we lived about, I don't know, eight miles north of our school, and in Fort Lauderdale, like, it's everything's near the beach, and so we we're both kids from Ohio, and I would take, you know, the fast way to school and the fast way home every day, and Brad would take A1A, which is right on the beach, all the way to school and all the way home every single day. And um, 
I mean, it was like 20 minutes longer every time. And so one day I was just like, Brad, dude, what are you doing? Like it, it takes you double the time to get to school and back. And, and he said, look, I'm from a farm field in Ohio. If I get a chance to drive by the beach, I'm driving by the beach. And I'm like, you know, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Taking the long uh, way home. Yeah. I learned a lot from Brad. He's a smart guy. Well, I'm very, I'm very glad to know this song. We're going to take a listen to it and we'll finish this up on the backside of Long Way Home, Southbound 75. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I love it. I love it. It means something different every time I listen to it. So, um, do, does it mean something different to you now that it's out there and you guys are doing it? Does it, Mark, does it mean something different to you now that it's recorded and released? You know, it does, but you know, telling that story bring, brings it all back, you know, about, with, about Brad. So, right. um, I'm, I'm happy as long as, as long as, Everybody can find a, find something about each song that's special to them. I'm cool with it. So. Well, that's, that's cool. That's, 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 uh, that, that, you know, that's me. And it's like, it's honestly, it's like every time you listen to a song, it's almost like that, that, you know, everything's changed. So tell us, let's talk about, um, because, uh, exactly what I predicted has happened. So why don't we just move right on into the, the next portion of, of what we want to talk about? And, and I'm going to set it up this way. When, who helped you guys write this song? Like, how is this, how is this writing process? 
Um, usually I start the, all the songs. And actually, we were, while we were waiting, we kind of worked out another song. Um, I kind of start the songs, and then I don't finish them on purpose because I want, I want kind of the band to, to play through it and, and, and kind of get the sound and get the feel of it once we start playing. Because right. no matter you know how good a songwriter you are, once you start bringing it to a band and the band starts kicking and it sounds different than you expect. Um, and, and that's kind of what we did. And actually, even it, it even changed while we were recording it. So yeah. we added like that part at the end while we were recording. We just kind of like, you know what it needs? It needs kind of this little part at the end, and we changed it. So the song, I mean, and then, I mean, honestly, we, we'll start playing and get ready for shows. We start thinking, you know, it sounds good. Something like this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So they evolve even after, you know, even after they get recorded. I mean, do, in your personal professional opinion, do you think that's why that Miranda Lambert did a techno remix of Tequila Does? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was her idea. <laughs> Maybe it might have been. But, you really? I mean, like, I don't know. We can't talk about other artists, though. We can't do that right now. But yeah. can you believe? I, I listen. I put it on my Facebook page. Everybody know I like it. I, yeah. Everybody, everybody know I like that song. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Yeah, but everybody it ain't country. Knows. It ain't country. Are you guys rock? Are you rock? Um, you know, I don't know. It, it, you know, there's parts of us that, that come from that background. Anthony comes from the rock background. Yeah. So when he joined the band, we had, you know, we got a little bit more rock. Yeah. Uh, but Greg is, is country all day long. We have to explain, you know, who Def Leppard is, that guy. Yeah, so, Greg is an egg. You know, he so. is a country egg. That <laughs> is, is. Yeah, Absolutely. he is a country egg. That is yeah. exactly it. Absolutely. So, I mean, but I think that's what makes it interesting is bringing all the our influences together and that's 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 how we got our sound so well i'm glad for you guys to set that up because you know some people don't know that uh, the gatlinburg songwriters festival coming up august the 19th through the 22nd is songwriters and it's people that may someday um may get the opportunity to present you guys with a song and and uh, the songwriters to me they always you know that's where it starts can you tell me what is your um, what is your relationship with songwriters? Like, how do you guys feel? This is probably not a good time for you to say, look, I can't stand a songwriter, but you know, like, you know, I would like your professional opinion of, of, you know, professional songwriters. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You don't like them. We've had the, uh, (laughs) the fortunate, uh, opportunity when we're in Nashville to, uh, this was last, uh, actually a little over a year ago. Yeah. Uh, having the opportunity to, uh, write with some very good songwriters that have, that have, uh, had, uh, it's got songs that are on the radio today still with popular national artists. And, uh, tell you, they give us a very good insight on where they find their influence yeah. and what, what gives them the ability to write the music that they do. And I know Mark incorporates a lot of that into the songs that he writes. Right. And it takes a lot from his own experience. And I tell you, we're, for, you know, we're very glad. And you had mentioned, you know, you found things that on the, the song a long way home. Well, I feel like once I connected with Mark and these guys from Southbound that, uh, you know, I've, I've done a lot of things in the past and, and I feel like I'm at home, uh, very comfortable with Mark and these guys here. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, you know, I was going to ask, you know, like, how's all the new members getting along? Or, or is it, have you had to say girls, girls are both pretty any once at all? Or has it just been pretty good? Girls? Girls, <laughs> girls. Uh, you're yeah, both. Topic. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, um, they're there. Girls. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk a lot about that though, Taz. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I thought, uh, anyway, Trip got tripped up last week thinking we were off air and so did I. So don't come in, coming up that, uh, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, April the 19th through the 22nd, the Gatlinburg Songwriters Festival. And I'm so glad you guys stuck around for me to do this. I'm going to tell you guys by in just a second, but I'm going to be at the Park Vista stage, the Gatlinburg Inn, also at Dollywood. Um, and, uh, I'm very excited. I'll tell you about the show that I'm most excited about is um, Leroy Parnell. I am most excited. I have lobbied for that one. I'm excited about uh, Hints of Grins um, over in Moonshine Holler. I'm excited about that. And, you know, guys, maybe we'll get uh, Southbound 75. And, Mark, um, you know, I, you know, I've got a little bit of a studio audience. They may or may not be related to me. So let's brag just a little bit. You, um, the reason you, you've got a, this is Southbound 75 and your, and your new track record with them is something you've had a taste of success before and this is something you did out of the pat this band is out of passion for what you do right like did i mess it up yeah can we talk about that a little bit or no about okay say that like how say that again you're, you're where you were before you came here like you got you this is a passion band for you right 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. You yeah. wanted to do where you're at, but you've yeah, saw, absolutely. you've saw success in this industry before yeah. Southbound 75. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and did um, you want to talk about any of that past just to kind of say, Hey, this is what I did or, or no? Yeah. No. I mean, and actually, uh, you know, Anthony was part of the past. He oh, was, no. Yes. Yeah, so all the, the oh, it all comes back. You got to tell people yeah, truth. Right? You can't talk well, about them after they're gone. It all comes I back. Know, I know. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So anyway, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah. No. We, Anthony, Anthony was in the band when we were touring. With you know, we did it. We did a big tour um, as a as a rock band, and and yeah. and we we ended up playing a lot of country bars and in that tour um, with a bunch of names. Which was ironic. Which is yeah. I mean, and that's when I realized. Look. You know, we're playing country bars. I kind of saw the future, and then that's after that tour is when I said, "Look, the, this we need to be where I really can write good songs and write right. real songs right. and tell stories." Yeah, you know, because that's what I love. That's what songwriters love. That is it. That's well, and that's why I do what I do, and that's why you do what you do, and that's why we get along so well. You think? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and honestly, it was funny too. I remember the day he came to me and said, "So I had this crazy idea." <laughs> and here we are today. <laughs> and now here we are. It was really bizarre. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Really?" And he's like, "Trust me." I'm like, okay. Yeah. And here we are. Now listen, <laughs> Southbound seventy five is not to be confused with ninety five South because you'll end up in Miami and not Tampa, right. right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you also yeah. get hip hop instead of country rock. It's Absolutely. Southbound yeah, 75. Yeah. Guys, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys, um, you guys changed my life when I met you. And, um, and I still, um, I just, I just adore everything you guys adore. Adore. You do, Tess. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Keep doing what you're doing right. up there. We'll adore? I said adore and you just skipped over that. Adore? <laughs> Adore. Yeah, I adore. I adore you. I adore you, Mark. Like, that sounds bad. We adore you, Taz. That sounds really bad. We got Willie. We got Willie, not Nelson. He's going to be on the stage when we come back. It is, uh, it is Taz the podcast. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Southbound 75. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, wait, wait. Southbound 75 on everything, including Facebook, Instagram, all of that good stuff, right? All of it. Yeah. Just All find of it. us. Search it. You'll see it. Yeah. Just find them. You can find them find anywhere. Them. Thank you guys. Southbound 75. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Taz the podcast. Willie, 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 Willie. What's up, Willie? What's up, Yeah, I know. Southbound 75, like if there was ever a time to have you on the show, it would be with Southbound 75. Absolutely, man. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely awesome. That's cool. Yeah, Willie, where are you, um, where are you from? Where did you come from originally? I was born on a, a tobacco farm down in South Georgia, actually. I grew up there all my life and, we helped my granddaddy and granny um, kind of get their crops in every year, and you know, and with that, it's a, just a farm life. Um, not much to do after the sun went down, but go out and catch lightning bugs, put them in a jar. I love catching lightning bugs. That's one of my favorite things to do. I think as a kid, that was. Now I just want to like, like, just get one of those guns and like shoot them and catch them. Yeah, like, I we was go- little. We were little. I'm too lazy. Hard on them. We'd take and smash them against your forehead and put that. Indian paint on you and it just glow. So yeah, we had that going on. Yeah. Um, well, when you um, when did you come to this area? Where when did you come here? I came to Tennessee when I left the road. Um, I was in Utah and I left Utah and went to West Yellowstone, Montana, and, and ended up here. It's where I always wanted to live. I brought my kids here every year for vacation. And I figured. When I had a chance, I'd, I'd 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 come here and make my home. We do have a we do have a little bit of echo, and I, I am going to try to get lit, rid of it in just a second. But um, Willie, when um, uh, wait, I almost moved on, and I almost missed the most important thing about this whole conversation with Willie. Willie has a chicken. I got a chicken. That, I got a bunch of that knocks on the door. To come back inside to lay an egg in a dog bed behind the recliner. And if he don't, if he, if he don't hear the door. He's gonna brag about she'll, it. Listen, she'll fly got... up into the window and land. <laughs> and so she, so she gets her, gets your attention. And then you open the door and she's in there down that hallway in behind my recliner into a dog bed. And, um, you, you'll hear her just start squawking when she lays that egg. When she's done, she's back outside. Then her sister comes in. 
they share the same dog bed. We get two eggs out of that dog bed a day. Listen, my mamma Sue is like a dog bed. That's what I should have got. A dog <laughs> bed. Right? So yeah. Will, Willie, when you got into music and, and when you were touring, what were some of the, where was, where are you going and where were some of the places you were, who were you with and, and who were some of the people that you met? Well, uh, you know, I really don't like to name names and all that, but I, I, I hung out with some of the best and opened for a good many of them, but, um, had some good times on the road and had some bad times on the road. You know, I, I battled with addiction and things like that when I was out there. It wasn't until I come off the road, the guy kind of spoke to me and we come to terms on some things. Right. Yeah. You, know, you always do, right? But we, we you know, every, everywhere, from Oklahoma up to, like I say, um, right on the Canadian border and background. And I always set up little small tours when I was off the road to keep the money coming in. Yeah, no, and uh, and what made and it was just the like the the the, tour, the I want to go back. It was just the tourism. It was just the mountains. It was just the Smokies. It was just why we love, why we live here. It's why you wanted to be here, and that was it. Was it the music? Yeah, you know, I, I'm the, going with the. Is it the music that brought you? I mean, was it the music community? No, not really. No? I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Nashville and all that. I like the Appalachian music. And that's, the, that's I was meaning that here. sort of yeah, that yeah. sort of thing, but. Um, uh, what brought me here was kind of like, uh, like I said, I, I vacationed here every year from the time I was buying coonskin. Dad, Mom and Daddy was buying me coonskin caps, so I've, I've always wanted to be here. Right. But um, it's hot in Georgia. <laughs> it was hot here today. What I can drive about, about three minutes from my house, and I'm in the creeks so in the river. So, uh, right? No, I, I love I love it here. It's inspiring. Yeah, it, it is. A, it is that the, yeah. the creeks, the rivers, the water, the mountains. Yeah, and the mountains, the people. Yeah. You know, you hear, just sit down and talk to somebody like a Greenback Diner. Go in and sit down and just listen to some of the stories these old timers tell you. You know, it's worth worth living. So Willie, you're going to sing for us a little bit today, uh, tonight, and um, and then uh, hopefully we'll bring Bernadette to come back and talk to us a little bit toward, towards the end here. But let's let's talk about one of your first songs when uh, when you were putting the list for us today. What was what 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 went into your music selection for for what we're going to hear from Willie tonight? How did, how did this um, process work? I'm traditional country. Yeah, <clears throat> I like some of the new stuff. I like some of the indie indie stuff. Um, I love all types of music. I love jazz and blues and pop and um, uh, Luther Vandross and stuff like that. So music is in my heart and soul. But the 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 traditional country is where it it really touches me. Right. I can get chill bumps, right? You know, from it. And this first song I'm gonna do is from Charlie Pride, and that might surprise you, but he's he's um one of my favorite. Um, country singers and it goes on from there to Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash, Johnny Paycheck and um, I was sitting at a bar with Johnny Paycheck one night just to ask you where I've been. <laughs> Somebody walked by and said, take his job and shove it. He said, man, I wish I never wrote that song. I said, I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your bar tab you can always is probably give it to me. Yeah, yeah your bar tab is probably a little different than his last night. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Willie Franklin. <laughs> Thank you.
Goodness, Willie oh, Franklin. Thank you. Oh, I thank appreciate you. That. That's beautiful, beautiful. And for some reason, I think, oh, sorry. If I'm blowing you away at home right now, I hit the wrong button. <clears throat> Willie, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I did. I hit the record button tonight, y'all. I got to. You're awesome. I did, I'm awesome er, because this time I hit the record button. Yes, sir. But you know, we have a very special listener that we didn't. Uh, Bernadette, are you guys still here? Are you guys here? Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what we didn't give away? We didn't give away that rafting trip to that birthday person. What? I know. I that. Oh, I know, I know. I've got a lot of feedback coming tonight. I don't know what's going on. I hope you guys at home are still listening. I'm not able to look right now. But you know, it is the 28th birthday of Jasmine Fuller, and she's going down the river with a paddle with Smoky Mountain Outdoors. So Jasmine, congratulations. What? Happy birthday. Congratulations. Yeah, she's an old fart. So, uh, all right, Trip, I mean, Bernie, I'll see you back here in just a second. Um, so, Willie, when um, the next song that you're going to sing for us, um, um, you, all of these songs, I guess, you, 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 this, they affected you or they were part of you when they, when you were on the road. And you have, and for anybody freaking out right now, Willie has rights to sing every one, one of the songs that he has right now. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so you, the second song that you're going to sing for us, where does it, what, what part of your journey on the road does this take us? It was uh, probably towards the last when this song came out and, um, it was a lot of strength to me, um, recovering from, from addiction and recovering from being out, you know, in, in nights where you didn't know really where you were at or what you was going through. But this is a Josh Turner song called Long Black Train. Well, 
whistle from a mile away. It sounds so good, but I must stay away. The train is a beauty making everybody stare. But its only destination is the middle of nowhere. Cause you know there's victory in the Lord, I say. Taz the Podcast. With over 20 years of experience, our goal is to customize each dock to the customer's needs at the best price on the lake. We service Blunt County, Knox County, Loudon, and Monroe. Driving piles, turnkey docks, boat and jet ski lifts, riprap, walkways and stairs, electricity, resurfacing docks, total reconstruction. Our docks are constructed in the highest quality in pre-treated materials from the piles to the lifts on turnkey docks. Call my daddy or papal today. Call Shoreline Maintenance today 865-206-7907 865-206-7907 oh if you guys like to travel then hop in your car and head on over to greenback tennessee and go travel back in time the greenback diner has been around for almost a hundred years with the best sweet tea around don't forget the grilled honey bun topped with ice cream and chocolate syrup. They have some friendly service and a family atmosphere. Thursday suppers are from 5 till 8. Breakfast is served from 7.30 until 10.30. Lunch is 10.30 until 2. And on Saturdays, you can stuff yourself on all-you-can-eat breakfast bar from 7.30 until 11. They have the best burgers and best fillies in town. Call them now. Make sure they're there for you no matter where you're coming from. 865 865- 856-2614 that's 865-856-2614 or find the Greenback Diner on Facebook We've been catering to it and figuring it out since 1972. So join us at obnoxiousbehavior.com. The merchandise from all of the talent on our shows and the guests on our shows and all of the stuff from our sponsors from Spoons and Shakers, the Americana Sunday Cafe, as well right here on Taz the Podcast. We've been catering to it and figuring it out since 1972. All you have to do is click obnoxiousbehavior.com and fill your obnoxious behaviors. You're down with the OXB. Have you heard? Heard what? Comedy Couple Tees will print anything on a shirt. Anything? Anything. What if I can't think of something funny to put on a shirt? That's okay. They have lots of funny shirts on their website to choose from, or you can create your own custom shirt. You can also get a custom mask, phone case, mouse pad, and so much more. I bet it's expensive though, right? No way. You can get a full color picture printed on a white shirt for only $20. 20 bucks? Yup, they have great prices. Where can I find them? ComedyCoupleTees.com. That's ComedyCoupleTees.com. Comedy Couple Tees. We print anything on a shirt. Hi, I'm Jennifer Jones, creator of Twisty Knot, the little fashion accessory that easily creates the perfect knot in your t-shirts. Check out my podcast episode with Taz from season one to hear my story about how I invented and patented my product. And please visit twistyknot.com to see easy tutorials of all the ways that you can use Twisty Knot. That's twist dash t double e knot dot com. Use code podcast and get 10% off your order. 
When you go on vacation, you only have so much time. There are so many choices to make. You know you want real, authentic experiences. In Tennessee's Great Smoky Mountains, get off the beaten path and see the mountains from where only boats can go. Get out on the river with SMO Rafting. SMO is Smoky Mountain Outdoors. We raft on the most popular river in the United States, the Pigeon River, near Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. With Class 3 and 4 rapids, the Pigeon offers whitewater thrills or a scenic calm water float on the lower section. Rafting season is March through October with guaranteed water levels during the summer. Get up close and personal with the Great Smoky Mountains. Go with SMO, the most trusted outfitter on America's number one river. Call us at 800-771-7238 or visit obnoxiousbehavior.com to download your free rafting guide. SMO Rafting is proud to partner with Spoons and Shakers. 865 Studio Shirts, small batch, screen printing. You see it online all the time. People wanting a t-shirt quickly and fast and cheap. Well, if you've ever wanted to experience and appreciate the quality of a really good shirt, then you want to take the screen printing workshop. It is located in Maryville, Tennessee. You know, it's in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. Join us for this fun class as we learn about screen printing. This is a tactical, hands-on experience where you will learn the entire process of how the design is created, how a screen is made, and how the design gets inked and cured onto your shirt. Feel free to bring up to five additional items per person to print. Adult beverages and snacks are definitely allowed. It's only $50 per person. It's a two-hour class and includes one T-shirt, one canvas tote, and poster supplies per person. Maximum four people per class. To book this, you go to airbnb.com, search Knoxville Experiences, find screen printing at Artist Studio, and book your class. You can visit 865studioshirts.com to view some awesome swag available for purchase online. If you would like to talk to Stacy Patty about this awesome experience, call 865-724-5439, 865studioshirts.com. A65 Studio Church. Taz the Podcast. Well, 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 I screwed that one up, but listen, we're live, we're recording, and thank you guys. <laughs> Did it hurt your ears? <laughs> Harmony, I thought you were, I thought you were like, God, I hurt my head. No, it was in my head, though. Willie, listen, um, we do what we do here each week, like I said in the top of this show, and you are actually the executive director of of, of the, the, the Lost Vets, which is uh, the, the charity, you know what's funny? You know, it's something that I kind of put together in my head today. Um, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things kind of hit me with perspective today. And you know, I left here. The reason that you and I didn't do anything with the lost vet seven years ago is because I left. And then it's funny that this is the first, uh, thing that I gravitated to when I come back. It's full circle. Though. Yeah, it is full circle. Full and thank circle. you. And thank you for that opportunity and thank you for, for this platform. You know, I'm excited. This I don't think either one of those was ready for it. So no, heck no. God dang no. I wasn't ready. No. <laughs> There's a lot. I wasn't even ready for sausages made by the Amish. Okay. Uh, thought I was. It went great, but nope, wasn't. But Willie, uh, um, let's, let's give people a reason and let's, with this next song that you do, whatever song that is, like, uh, you know, let's, let's talk about what we're doing here on Tuesday nights and, and, uh, you know, with the Smoky Mountain Showcase and with Taz, the podcast the seven o'clock show the opportunity you know we uh we have a lot of we have a lot of great guests that are Absolutely. on the way here you got a and, great one next week though. well you i mean we got a great one tonight let's not take away from that but let's also uh you you're very talented Thank and you. and and it's and it is it just kind of um um just pushes uh, my my method um because honestly i don't care like i said i can sit in pajamas at, in an rv on the side of the river as long i can do this podcast and people are going to listen to it it's yeah. not 
about me, and I don't even want it to be about me. It's about the story, you know. It's it's, it's about the method, and I do love to entertain, but I'm not going to be signing autographs for you at the end of the night. It's these artists and the people that we have on the show, and that we have coming across this stage and many other stages across this town, as we're now finding out. Oh, yeah. uh, we've got some great talent coming here, so. As you go into this next song, kind of, you know, give us a little bit of what people are going to, uh, on Tuesday nights, what you think and, and go ahead and play your next song. And then we're going to plug, um, if, if you're, do not go anywhere. Um, I was able to con- confirm some very good Tuesday nights in Maryville, Tennessee on the Taz, the podcast and, and Spoken Mountain Showcase stage. So you, 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 you take it from here, sing your song. Well, and, first of all, thank you for having me. No, you no, know, I don't get to, I don't get to play that much anymore. You know, my life is kind of uh, dedicated to our, our veterans who have fallen through the cracks in America, the ones who were homeless and disabled and, and things like that. So I dedicate my life to that now, but it, it does feel good to be appreciated and get to sing. But, you know, um, and I appreciate you taking this on with the Lost Vets, but oh, we have some great guests and what I've been talking to you in the hallway about. It's going to, um, this thing's just going to get... <laughs> it's true. Yeah, well, thank well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and I, I, uh, I'm sorry, I, I have a little sound issue. Uh, can you? Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. And we are live. We're going to keep rolling, and and we are recording too. So, mm, it is strange. It, Somewhere. yeah, something, something. I got all my. I got all my minions at home. Can you all hear Willie okay? Text me if you can. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, let's see. Sing it from the mountain. Yeah, that's not it. Um, I'm not getting text messages. Let's see if I can fix it. Okay, try it now, Willie. Yep. We're still here on this side, right, guys? Y'all say. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. There we and, go. Uh, uh, do, um, I can't read it. Go. Ahead. I think I got you. Somebody, let me know for good. Go ahead, Willie. Sorry about that. The song goes out to my mama who spent a lot of nights on her knees praying for me, and I thank her um, for that. So she's probably between her, her and my granny brought me back. So it's called Mama Tribe. <laughs> He is good, good, good. I don't, I don't listen. Somebody's messed with my microphone. It's my microphone. <laughs> Who's trying to shut me down? Uh, yeah, well. that's funny. Um, Willie, so we got, we got some great artists coming this way. You know, next week we got, uh, you know, raising money for the lost vets. It's never been so easy to be able to just to turn this podcast, make it live and, and have all these wonderful people come out and see us. Yes. yes. 
to raise money for the lost vets. It's only five dollars at the door, you know. Think and how much fun you have. I know we have so much fun. Uh, <laughs> sorry, um, my dog's been acting up tonight, and and so therefore when my dog acts up, I act up, and I'm sorry if I got a little out of line tonight. But you know what? It's just the way it is when your dog acts up, Willie. You know. Well, sometimes I want to <laughs> chase a bone. <laughs> but next week, Jason Wilson. You know, these local artists that are coming to see us here um, for the Lost Vets and for Taz, the podcast, and these Smoky Mountain Showcases, Jason Wilson, uh, you know, we just, every genre, Willie, you know, yep. Taz, the podcast is the songwriter and the talent. That's right. And I am so excited that WOXB, um, now, now Monday through Friday, 7 to 7, we take care of our businesses, and uh, we play country rock and blues. Yeah. But you know what? August 24th, Alan Wick gonna be a little hip hop. Yes, sir. Gonna be a little hip hop. A little hip hop. Yeah, yeah a little hip hop. I and, got a four wheel drive set. But you can't sing. <laughs> no, we've got some great artists coming up, and our feature artist that week is is going to be Kate McMahon. Everybody knows Baby Mac. Baby, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't even said it. It's new branding. Can I strike it? Bleep it? I shouldn't even said it. It's Kate Mac, and uh, Kate Mac is going to be here. She's a legend and and a true. Um, a true, uh, committed Maryvillian East Tennessean and, and, role, and she loved, model. yeah, she loved her mama. She loved the East Tennessee. She, she loves her daddy and she loves her family. She loves her grandma. Like, you know, that she's just good people. Yeah. yeah. She's going to be here and, uh, we have other bands that are coming that's going to support a lot of these artists that are coming this way. And I'm so excited that we, Willie have created that platform to raise money for the Lost Vets. Because look, look at the, all these seats that yeah. could be filled to raise money for for the Lost Vets. Well, better thing to raise raise money for than somebody who raised his hand to give his life. He wrote a blank check. Yeah. And now he needs help. Let's, let's help him. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to say, and I did say, and I hope this is still going out okay, because I'm getting a lot of feedback here. I'm not sure about there. But, um, you know, you've got a lot of active case with, cases with the lost vets right now, correct? We do. we got a 12-year veteran right now that's needing somewhere to go. But he won't let me help him because he was exposed to COVID. He'd rather sleep in his car until he's in, uh, quarantined long enough, and then... And then we will we'll get him somewhere safe, and, and um, we'll put him in a house somewhere, and he'll he'll be able. To, he has a job; he works every day, but it costs so much now to get rent. You know, to do rent, you got your first month, last month. You know, and then you got to cut your power on and all that. So it's I know. Just expensive. And, well, the reason I'm doing what I do, and I tell you, and I'm just going to be real honest with you, it's not real easy to put together this live show, but I tell you, it's a real privilege to be standing in my hometown and be able to do this show um, with a bunch of people that I care about and I love, and uh, a lot of the, the artists and the people that are on the show, I love them dearly, South Southbound 75, all the advertisers and all the supporters, I really appreciate it, and I thank you for that. Well, I think we all need to give a hand to Taz. No, we no, it's him. not, no, it's not about that, that's not it. Taz Podcast. <laughs> Yes, Willie, thank you, Willie, very much. I'm going to go back to Bernadette. Thank you, Willie, for everything. Bernadette, are you serious? We made it through another. I cannot I, believe it. I know we made it through another episode of a live show with Taz the podcast. It is crazy. Amazing. One in the book. One, one in, one in the books. I appreciate you very much. And for those of you that listen. There's a bunch of you, and I'm so proud of you. Those of you that continue to listen to those that entertain, make us laugh, and make us feel all for a better life, I hope that you continue to make life happen. I'm Taz Cahill. Taz the Podcast.